Well, hey, I'm Derek. It's Kyler. And uh, we're in Odessa. Just make sure we're in tune music Odessa. Most of this will hold true for all of our in tune locations. Um, we always get the question I mean, you know, we, this time of year, people have friends, husbands, sons, daughters, wives play guitar. And I, I'm glad the question is always hey, I just want to get something for them for Christmas. They play guitar. Uh, stocking stuffers or you know just a, a simple gift so we thought we'd show a few things this morning i'm going to start um, west texas especially humidipack the colder it gets the drier it gets and the thing about wood guitars i mean how many acoustics do you have i don't know probably like six or seven you keep them humidified my nice one i do <laughs> yeah the deal is is sometimes if you look at it the, the top starts sinking because it dries out and, and it's real bad especially when it's cold these are designed to fit uh, inside the the tone hole and it keeps the humidity level good for your for your wooden guitars for your acoustics in particular uh, you can actually get them that have barometers uh, just basic ones that's a great idea for guitar players they may not even know they need it but what do you got I have a string winder here I know this isn't the most glamorous gift but for somebody that has everything this is probably something that they don't have one reason that I like this, you can buy uh, less expensive ones. Right. But this has a ball bearing in it, so I change strings a lot. I find that it's uh, less tiring to use this. Right. And I guess I feel like sometimes your wrist can hurt even from using this to real simple. Now, look, I'm a bass player. If you want to talk about wearing yourself out winding strings, bass pegs take forever. If you're doing it by hand, they make this in a bass size as well. And it's why kill yourself? Smarter, not harder, right? Talk about strings while we're talking about strings. I have a three-pack of Diodario acoustic strings. Okay. A three-pack? Yeah, so a three-pack. One of the reasons we do that, most guitar players won't just use one set of strings in the lifetime of their guitar. Well, we hope. <laughs> so you can, you know, just save money by buying it in bulk. And we actually sell some strings in 12-packs. Let me ask you this while you're talking about that. I don't, I don't want to go too long, but... How long, what's the life of a guitar string? Something like this, it really all depends on how much you play. Does it? So, you know, if you'd never play a guitar and you just put the set of strings on there, you might get three or four months out of it. The problem is your hands have oils in them, so that just kind of... Um, Do they stretch? Do they keep stretching? Uh, it's, at certain points they don't keep stretching, but then at a certain point they'll start to lose their tension. All right. Well, you and hear people say, my strings are dead. Yeah. What are they saying? It's stretched too far? It's done? Can't. Most of the time, it's just the oils in their hands have gotten so much corrosion on the strings that okay. there's not much tone left in them. So anymore. there's never a bad time to change strings? N yeah, never really. I mean, I'll, you know, some professional guitar players change their strings in between their sound check and their performance, which You're is... You're saying, I've seen those guitar techs run out on concerts and grab a guitar and go string it and run it back out. So. Yeah, and so, you know, that's probably <coughs> a little overkill, especially if you're uh, somebody that doesn't play your guitar for a living all right uh, and, and listen this is going way longer than I wanted to but I it, you keep bringing things up in my head if somebody doesn't play the guitar shouldn't you unwind those a little bit detune your strings so they're not full tension all the time you know I think that's actually kind of a, a common misconception you don't want to loosen the tension on strings okay to the point that there's no tension it's probably not a bad idea to loosen the tension to where maybe it's a half step drop or a half step hole, yeah. below uh, you actually run into more problems when the strings aren't at tension because the strings at tension keep the neck at a certain uh, straightness. The bows, right? Yeah. Right, and depending on how you have your neck, say you could have it straighter or bowed. If you don't have any tension on it, the neck tends to kind of decide whatever it wants to do. All right. Sorry about the rabbit trails. Things I didn't know. What else you got? Uh, I have a Kaiser Capo here. Anybody that has played guitar for a period of time has probably seen one of these. Maybe so Capo, for people that don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, you put it on a fret, and you can raise the tuning of what you're playing. It's, if you're comfortable playing in G, you know the G chords, but you need to play in A, you can put this on the first fret, and it raises the guitar to A. That would be uh, G sharp. You have to do two so frets. So two frets, good. So you raise it on the second fret, capo two, <laughs> and, and you go up to A. Yeah, and you know this is pretty popular for people that are songwriters and singers especially because a lot of times the original key that songs were in is not what <laughs> tends to work for you and so. no no offense to our vocalists but sometimes the diva i mean the vocalist needed in another key 
Yes, and that I mean that's common. This is kind of the in, the standard uh, that you would say. Right. You know, it's probably the most popular capo. Cool. You, know, you might have some people that want something a little bit different, and we have some of those as well. Like for electric or. Yeah, and the main thing with the other ones that you'll have, you can adjust the tension on them, so they'll work. Um, you know, if you have a string that's pretty small, something like this capo is just gonna smash that string so that it's sharp. So right. we have okay. some of those other ones too. So that's kind of workhorse stuff that we looked at. How about for people that want something nice? Sure. Like, I really want to do something different. Yeah, Upgrade. so one of these uh, gifts that we have over here, you might have somebody in your life that maybe is a guitar collector or likes nice guitars. Now, you might not want to buy them a $3,000 guitar, but what you can do instead is get them this strap. Now, this might be a little hard to see on camera, but I'm going to do my best. You want me to take half of that? Yeah. So we're just going to... It's got some hand-tooled leather. It's a beautiful pattern. What's the name of the company, El Dorado? Yeah, this is El Dorado. They're out of California. Uh, we actually ran into this company at a guitar show that we went to. Perfect. And talked to the owner and ended up deciding that we wanted to carry some of his straps. So these are all handmade in the U.S. Which We've is, got a couple other styles. Yeah, really cool. This one right here is reversible. So I'm going to okay. show you the black side first. Okay. And we'll turn it over. So you can uh, flip it over just so you to... kind of get the camel or the black, whichever you feel like playing that day. Yeah, exactly. And the cool thing about this, I mean, Derek's feeling it right now. That's these soft. are super soft yeah. leather. So cool. They're really comfortable. You play on one of these, right? You, you yeah, use one of these? Yeah, actually, the one that we were just looking at is what I have. And I'll be honest with you, for your, I'm somebody that gigs a lot. So having something that's comfortable God, that is soft. makes all the difference in the world. And um, I mean, I don't think anybody would be mad at you buying them one of these gifts, right? Yeah. Awesome. awesome. And just so you know, we do have the we do have the what twelve dollar, fifteen dollar variety. Yeah. So these aren't those. The cool thing about straps is that's kind of where you can put a lot of personality in your guitar, because uh, you know it's probably too expensive to buy a custom made guitar that's painted exactly how you want it, but you can find a strap exactly how you want it. No awesome. Problem. I personally have several like this, but uh, I have one base that I have my cartoon, you know, weave, Zam Pow, just because it's fun and I like it. So if you need it, we probably got it. If you need some gift ideas, come ask. This is Kyler. He's in Odessa. Uh, my name's Derek. I'll just refer you back to Kyler. <laughs> uh, in Midland, you can sure talk to Sean, Tyler, or Shelby. Uh, in Abilene, Bowie, Jeremiah, Elisha, they're all uh, there. Good. To hey, Donna. Hello. <laughs> and just come by and say hi. We'd love to see you. Hope your holiday season is merry and bright.